I'm the son of a cop. My brothers are cops. I was a prosecutor. Law enforcement for our family is not a career, it's a way of life. Uh, it's about putting the bad guys away and keeping the community uh, safe. Uh, and so to me, when I hear some of my colleagues, again, not all of them, but some of them on this committee uh, thump their chest and say that they back the blue, uh, but then they're gonna call a January 6 uh, convict a hostage, that's not back in the blue, that's back in the coup. And when some of them say that they back the blue, but the second the blue raids the house uh, of their preferred candidate for president, that's not backing the blue, that's backing a fool. And so uh, I'm all about supporting law enforcement and, and honoring them during police week, but we gotta be consistent. Police week's always a, a bittersweet uh, week in Washington, D.C. Uh, we uh, remember uh, the fallen, those uh, who have uh, given their lives uh, in the service of their community over the last year, uh, but also it's a time for fellowship and brotherhood and sisterhood of the profession to come together uh, in our nation's capital. And uh, just first wanna honor uh, the service of those who we lost uh, last year. Um, I wanna thank each of you for your service and wanted to just go through a couple of different uh, incidents uh, that this committee has focused on and this Congress has focused on and just get your perspective. Um, do you agree, uh, Mr. Mays, uh, that the officers who defended the Capitol on January 6th are heroes? Yes, sir, I would agree. And how about you, uh, Sheriff Chapman? Uh, anybody that puts their lives on the line to make sure that they're keeping people safe is a hero to me, so uh, I would agree that anybody that was assaulted, certainly um, by, the, by the rioters, were, were heroes. And how about you, uh, Mr. Bullock? I would stand by the same words. Any officer that puts on this uniform lawfully doing their duties is a hero in my book. And Mr. Bryant. I am in concurrence that any person that puts on this uniform and honorably serve out their career is a hero, absolutely. And Mr. Mays, if you assaulted or physically harmed an officer on January 6th, does that make you a criminal? Anyone that assaulted an officer on January 6th and then is arrested and, uh, and convicted is a criminal. Yes, sir. And Mr. Chapman? An assault on a law enforcement officer is a crime, so yes, that would be a criminal. Mr. Bullock? The same. Mr. Bryant? I'm in agreement that you, you become a criminal. And by the way, I, I support legislation on the Judiciary Committee that would uh, make a, assaulting or committing a battery against a law enforcement officer a separate class of crimes, uh, and I hope we can uh, Gentlemen, pass Gentlemen, for just a second? Yeah. They do that in Tennessee. Good, yeah, I, we should do it uh, federally. Thank you, Chairman. One last question as, to, as it relates to January 6th. Do you believe that anyone who is uh, convicted of harming an officer on January 6th is a hostage, if they're in prison for that? Uh, no, sir, I do not. Sheriff? Uh, I don't really understand the question. <laughs> I don't either. Um, do you believe that calling a January 6 uh, convict a hostage is appropriate? That if they're in prison, that they're a hostage? I would say that anybody is, uh, that assaulted a law enforcement officer that was charged with it and is going, going through their legal process is, is uh, the, the appropriate action is being taken. Great. Mr. Bullock? Regardless of the event, if Someone is charged with a crime, follows due process, and is convicted. They are a convicted criminal, not a hostage. Mr. Bryant? I do not consider someone who was uh, arrested for assaulting a police officer a hostage. Great. I also just want to point out uh, there are some on this committee, not all, certainly not the chairman, who have advocated for defunding the FBI. Do you think we should defund the FBI, Mr. Mays? No, sir. Sheriff? Uh, no, sir, I have a son who's an FBI agent, so no. I want to keep him, <laughs> keep him employed. Mr. Bullock? No, sir. And Mr. Bryant? No, no, sir. Please don't give a rip about politics. They just want to serve the community. They want to be independent and free of politics, and we should back them every time they do their job, expect the highest amount of accountability, but not just expect them to wear red team, blue team uh, when it suits them. And I yield back.